As I did last week, kind of showed something that might be a little light and fresh as we're now in the spring season. Same situation here. Something very healthy to chump on as a snack. Of course, the chips are a little exception there. It's pico de gallo, which you've most likely had at a Mexican restaurant. Very easy to put together. In fact, you're probably going to spend more time actually prepping for this than what it takes to actually put it together because there's no baking to it. Pico de gallo uh, is actually translated uh, basically as rooster bill rooster beak and why is that the case well it's suspected that because the way people used to eat it when it was all made is they used their finger and their thumb and went in and just kind of picked some up that's at least the thought behind it right pico de gallo how's it made what's inside it a few different recipes and different things you can do here first off uh with a little bit of heat here we're going to add some jalapenos now the jalapenos i have here these are fresh they are not pickled i will show you how i do my jalapenos here in a second to reduce the heat but keep your flavor we have onion here i would decide to go with a red onion you can go with a white onion you probably see restaurants that have it uh but tell you what this adds a lot more of a kick to it in my opinion Onion with better flavor if you use the red onion. Tomatoes, of course, the main ingredient for the most part for this. I'll tell you how I do my tomatoes here in just a second. And then some spices up front, salt, a little bit here of garlic powder, and a little bit there of some cumin, some ground cumin. So what you're going to start here with, of course, are your tomatoes. I like going the Roma tomatoes. Make sure they're nice and firm. You don't want anything too juicy. The reason I like Romas is they have the flavor to them, but they're not as juicy as your regular tomato, and we don't want this to be juicy or saucy. So how I do my Roma tomato is I just cut the uh, ends off here with a sharp knife. Put those off to the side, done deal. Go down the middle, and as you see here, there are some seeds in there, a little bit of juice. So you're going to take your knife very easily, cut along the edges, and then under put that off to the side you'll have a little bit of, of seed and a little bit of juice left in there. But the great thing about Romas, you can just kind of shake them and pretty much all those seeds will come out. Once you're done with that, then you just kind of take the Roma, cut it into small little sections such as that, kind of line it up and cut it into smaller chunks, and there you go. There is your cut-up tomato. Next, you're gonna work with, uh, here is your jalapeno. This one I want you to be a little bit cautious with uh, because, honestly, it's a jalapeno. It can kind of hurt you if you don't wash your hands after using it several times, by the way. And, of course, if you eat it or put, you know, scratch your eye, oh, that's gonna burn. So I wanna put some gloves on here uh, as I'm doing that just to be safe. The jalapeno, your heat is gonna be inside the membrane and the seeds. So we're gonna take those out. Very easy to do. Take your jalapeno, cut off the very top edge there, put that off to the side. Next that you have here is just your jalapeno itself. Cut it uh, pretty much right down the middle because you want, you want to expose the insides just like so as you see there. What you're going to do next is you're going to take a spoon and basically use it, but be careful because you don't want the juices to fly into your eye, and go under the membrane, collect the seeds, put it off to the side. That's all you have to do. That gives you a lot more flavor with your jalapeno, but less of the heat because you have taken the seeds and the membrane out of there. After you're said and done with all that, chop it up nice and finely. Then you're going to kind of take your cilantro here and you can use your chef knife and cut up into smaller chunks. Um, I have a little herb cutter here that I'm going to use. Very easy to just kind of roll this back and forth to begin cutting up the cilantro into finer bits. This works with any herb that you want to use, basil, oregano, parsley. You can see how well this works and doesn't really take long at all. So once that's all said and done and cut up, now the process is just really adding everything uh, into your bowl. So I put this off to the side, leave my cilantro there, add in your tomatoes, or really add in whatever you want to first. It's not really that big of a deal uh, since it's all going to get mixed together. There is your red onion. Here is just a little bit of heat for your jalapeno. Going to put in just a dash there of your garlic powder, a dash here of your salt, and then just a dash of your cumin. And after that, it's all a stirring process. But, of course, you want a little bit more layer a layer of flavor here. So you're going to get your juicer. Do the juice of about half a lime. So we're going to put this into my juicer. Squeeze in. Oh, that good lime juice. And by the way, if you cut your lime in half and microwave it for about 10 or 15 seconds, you'll get even a lot more juice. Throw in your cilantro. I'm going to mix this up. Make sure it's all nice and even. Serve it to Ron here with a little bit there of some tortilla chips. Easy to make, very flavorful and healthy. Ron tries it up. Just a couple minutes.